A UN inquiry on Wednesday leveled damning allegations of war crimes against the IDF and Hamas. The findings as drawn by the UN Commission of Inquiry from two parallel reports, it concludes that Hamas during its October 7th attacks and Israel in its military aggression committed grave offences against civilians leading to immense loss of life. More details on that UN report in our next report. Take a look. Both Israel and Hamas had committed war crimes in the early stages of the war in Gaza a UN inquiry found on Wednesday. It also says Israel's actions constituted crimes against humanity because of the immense civilian losses. The findings were from two parallel reports published by the UN Commission of Inquiry, one focusing on the October 7th Hamas attacks and another on Israel's military response in Gaza. Israel did not cooperate with the commission, which it says has an anti-Israeli bias. Israel's diplomatic mission to the UN in Geneva rejected the findings. Hamas did not immediately respond to a request for comment. According to Israeli tallies, 1,200 people were killed and about 250 were taken hostage in the October 7th attack. The Palestinian Health Ministry says the military retaliation in Gaza has since killed over 37,000 people. The reports, which cover the conflict through the end of December, found that both sides committed war crimes, including torture, murder or willful killing, outrageous upon personal dignity and inhuman or cruel treatment. The report added Israel also committed additional war crimes, including starvation as a method of warfare. The COI statement said some of the war crimes such as murder also constituted crime against humanity by Israel, using a term reserved for the most serious international crimes knowingly committed as part of a widespread or systematic attack against civilians. On the report on the October 7th attack, the commission verified four incidents of mass killings in public shelters. It said that suggests militants had standing operational instructions. It also identified a pattern of sexual violence by Palestinian armed groups, but could not independently verify reports of rape. The evidence gathered by such UN-mandated bodies has sometimes formed the basis for war crimes prosecutions and could be drawn on by the International Criminal Court. In May, the ICC Prosecutor's Office has requested arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his defense chief, Yoef Gallant. The COI findings will be discussed by the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva next week.